Hey there, everybody. What a special time for me. I'm traveling on work up here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm taking a break out of my work trip to visit my childhood stomping grounds. I'm up just about ready to cross Deception Pass uh, into Whidbey Island and uh, get to the town of Oak Harbor, Washington, which is uh, where I spent three of my childhood years when my dad was in the, in the Navy. Oh, can't wait for this rush of memories. But I'm not sure I'll be permitted to go in. I don't remember this when I was a kid here. Let's see what we find out. Well, as I suspected, not granted access, so I'm gonna try and just cruise through the town of Oak Harbor. I don't think I'm gonna recognize anything there. I was like five, six, and seven years old when I spent my childhood here a couple years. So I don't think I'm gonna really recognize anything in town. I certainly would have recognized the neighborhood and the house and where we played, spent a lot of time riding bikes and um, right across the street from our house we lived in military housing my dad was in the navy and um, right across the street we could actually go down this big hill and get down to the ocean and we would uh, hunt for clams down there and uh, my mother <laughs> one of my fondest memories is my mother always wanting to find pretty pieces of driftwood. <laughs> We've got a lot of uh, driftwood around our house, so. Man, I'm so disappointed. Um, they did say that I could go in the morning to an office and and uh, have them run a background check and they may grant uh, me 24 hour access um, to, the, to the military base, but uh, Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have time for that. So anyhow, let me just uh, take you through my town that I spent a couple years at as a kid. All right, so one of my fondest memories of living out here in Oak Harbor on Whidbey Island was, uh, I think it was this marina that we would come out to. Uh, apparently my dad was so meticulous and so well organized that he was asked by one of the Navy captains to take over maintaining his 38 foot cabin cruiser. And again, I think this is the marina that, that it used to be docked at. And uh, yeah, so he got, uh, the captain got orders to move to a different uh, Navy station, I think out in Spokane inland and, and needed somebody to help maintain his boat and uh, asked my dad to do it. So we spent plenty of weekend out here just keeping it clean, keeping it updated. Uh, my dad would make recommendations on things to do to the uh, due to the cabin cruiser and he'd say, yeah, go out and go out and put a new depth finder on it. And, and we put that on there. So between my brother and I, my sister, my mom, we spent plenty of time out here. And uh, another really incredible memory was taking the boat out and actually seeing up close killer whales. 
absolutely amazing. Just wonderful memories of, of being out here growing up. Only spent, like I said, three, three years of my childhood here, but uh, have some pretty, pretty fantastic memories. Another memory that we had was um, a Mexican restaurant, and that's where I got to know guacamole for the first time. I think we called it guacamole, of course, back then. Um, so I'm going to go hunting for that Mexican restaurant, see if it's still around. Can there be quality Mexican food up in, uh, up in Whidbey Island, Oak Harbor, Washington? <laughs> We're going to do a little search and uh, see if we can find the answer to that question. Oh my gosh, and here's another memory. At sunset, they would play taps. Hope you can hear that. Wow. So cool. And we also had our own little boat that we'd go fishing on. Here's my brother with a huge salmon, and that's me on the left. There it is, the entrance to the Oak Harbor Marina with the entrance to the military base and military housing right behind it where I used to live. This is where we spent a considerable amount of time on our weekends, down here at the docks, working on the Rebel, that was the name of the cabin cruiser that we were charged to take care of. Wouldn't it be cool if I stumbled across it today, some, oh I don't know, what? 55 years later, something like that. Wow, crazy. Wow, let's bring back some memories. driftwood that I mentioned. My mom used to scour through this to try and find some unique pieces that might look nice in the house. It's all over the place. So there you have it, a brief little tour of one of the areas that I grew up as a kid, Oak Harbor, Washington. How cool is that? Oak Harbor, Washington is on Whidbey Island. It's about 90 minutes north of Seattle. What a cool little quaint little military town it is. Like I said, my dad was in the military, uh, served for 22 years and retired as a chief warrant officer. Uh, those planes that you see at the entrance of uh, Whidbey Island Naval Air Station uh, were some of the aircraft that he he actually serviced and, and was responsible for making sure that they had all the, the right parts to keep them up in the sky. So, yeah, so there you have it. 
um, as a little military brat. I did uh, travel around a little bit, lived in different places. It was always painful to leave, but always great to discover new areas. I spent a few years in Kodiak, Alaska. Uh, I was born on a military base, not even in the United States, which is kind of unique. Um, and uh, yeah, traveled and spent uh, time in several different towns uh, with Oak Harbor, uh, developing some of my most fondest memories and cherished memories as a kid. That's where I learned how to play baseball. Um, we had a wonderful cat as part of the family there. It was just, it was just great. Lived in uh, a great neighborhood and military housing. Wish I could have shown you that, that part of it. Wish I could have seen it. At the next light, well. turn right. But, uh, yeah, anyhow, hope you enjoyed this little tour. And uh, take care, everybody, and hope to see you out on the trail sometime soon. All the best.